45 seconds into round two. Gav had got it. And a toe hold from a step up. saying it was a punch, but it certainly wasn't. Just over halfway through the second round. Nobody really going for a score yet. Trying a few weakness, but most of all, being very careful not to make a mistake in this early stage. about can be very unpleasant to be trailing by a fall as early as round two or three. So that's why they're setting their sights pretty carefully at the moment. 40 seconds to go. Fair strength there, no question about that. Let's hope he doesn't spoil this bout by bending the rules as, for which he's a bit renowned. Eight seconds. Still the strength of hold, but on the back. Let's have a look at the challenger over in his corner, if he ever gets to his corner. They're still always smiling. He seems to be quite happy with the way things are going at the moment. There he is, Murphy, the uh, son of the famous wrestler, and I'm sure a lot of grapple fans will remember Roy Bull Davis. Round three. 13 rounds to go. And it's again Murphy. On the pressure points on the side of James's neck. Following the line with the back elbow. Oh, far too early. That's the sort of thing that Murphy must learn. He must not allowed to get away with any time, let alone a title back. Again going for the pressure points. Nice switch. He's still to the stomach, quite the legal. Black elbow protectors there, and back. Still the chop going through with the stomach from Jones. He's trying to get rid of this pressure point. Oh, it's again for about the third time. Often look like a punch, but the referee is best place to see it if he's uh, if they're facing the right way. Murphy pretty keen on persisting with this uh, face bar with those. Wrist man on his right wrist. Surprised the referee allows him to wear that. 
from this ring, side of the ring. And that sort of move certainly won't endear himself to the public here at uh, the city centre, Aylesbury. And James doesn't like it too much either. But he's left it a bit late in this, and it's a backbreaker over the knee, but the bell will save Jones any further trouble. Not quite sure again of that, not sure enough to deliver any warnings. But Jones is sure, he knows exactly what hit him on a couple of occasions in that round. So he's the best one to deal with it. Second play, round four. Round four, 12 to go. No score. Again, Jones a little bit slow and deliberate there. It's not his usual style. He's taking a quite a time to set his sights this afternoon. I've, I've never seen him. Oh, got good punch that side. But again, the referee unsighted, of course. Oh yes, that's just more like the Jones, a beautiful work. Inverted and surprised Murphy didn't know where it came from at all. And that was a nice time of that posting too. Switch. And a follow down, but too late. And not a very good landing, I think, for Jones. Goes for the crutch over, then Jones is ready for it and catches it down there. Beautiful move. One minute, ten seconds in the round four. Jones, the first ball with a beautiful folding press that caught him on a win. He first ball of the contest goes to the blue crowd with champion Marty Jones. Easy, easy, easy. Well, they're shouting easy, the Jones fans, but uh, it's not all over yet. There are 11 rounds to go. Jones is the champion, is now leading by one third of L with a beautiful folding press from the side, which he got electrifying speed. Second away, round five. And now that's given all the confidence in the world to Marty Jones and Murphy, not quite so cocky as he was when he first came in the ring. So we start round five, 11 to go. In case you've just come in, join us. That's Marty Jones with the black trunks and light tights. They're light blue tights. And Silver Boots, the champion. Walked into that back elbow. Long after the break. And he's doing another one. Now Max Ward, I'm just very surprised Max Ward allowing this. And he hasn't. The referee gives Scott Murphy his first public warning. And it took a bit long for him to get his first public warning. He's been a bit lucky to get away with it this far. But that he was doing right in front of the referee. He's going to try again. And Jones, a fight outside the ring now. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's, that's a Jones trick. Have a go at the jaw then. He's standing right in front of the metal pillar. Jones can hardly wait to get him back in the ring while he's got that right hand and wrist. Very weakened, I should imagine. He says, if you want to punch me, here's my jaw. He fell for it. And 
Jones is going for further weakness on that right hand. Perfectly legally, as long as his man is not on the deck when he does it. He's trying to get the toe and ankle, but he couldn't get the right hand in use. Jones takes the chance again to grab it. Shouldn't have tried to punch outside the ring, should he? It's his own fault. And the follow down cross press on the same move. And that could have been a 2-0 win for Jones in round five. Very nearly was. And right over the top into the metal posting again. Oh, he's having trouble here today. Not a happy man at all. Right on the bell of round five. Again, Murphy will not leave go once he's got a hold with his left hand as he goes back to his corner finally. But there's no treatment he can take for that right hand. It's not just the knuckles, it's the wrist as well that hit that... Uh, Metal post Murphy. and entirely his own fault. One down, boy. Okay. One down. Second the rain, round six. six. Round six, ten loser. rounds to go, and still Marty Jones, the champion, waiting there in the center of the ring, leading Murphy by one fall to nil. And Murphy has one public warning against him. Anyway, 
Koreans. This has a quick look at Jones's left eye, which is well, it's the cut, I think, on the face somewhere. But Jones doesn't want to know about cuts on his face. What he wants to know about how soon can I get going with that fellow again? Nine runs to go. Second to lay, round seven. Jones, and it's uh, again that right wrist band that's getting in Jones's throat. Side of the mouth, and more bucks coming in and a punch to the stomach. Referee still not sure enough. Remember, we can see this, and you can at home, but the referee often blindside. This time he stopped. Oh, caught him, oh, caught him with a butt on the way. Just hurt both of them, that one. The question, which is worse off? No, no counting. Jones really cut now on the forehead from that butt. And he goes down, he looks as in trouble. I don't see if we're going to have an unfortunate finish like we did in the... Duran Moser about earlier on. And Jones is really mad. Oh. And more butts coming to the face, the head. Yes, a real real fight this no wrestling match here at all at the moment and it's a submission attempt here by Murphy trying to drag the head round there was much chance of Jones getting out of that one he must have a submission surely it's a great half Wilson Final public warning for not leaving Joe when told to. The referee gives Joe Murphy second and final public warning. But Jones amazingly covered the blood that he may be. He still got out of that submission. <laughs> Marty Jones, the champion, getting a lot of tough treatment here from Murphy, who hasn't got any more public warnings to play with. Nice timing by Jones there, but goes down too late for the crash. Crash that he was after. Just about five seconds to go. Round seven. So, for all that excitement, and Jones can't wait to continue it with. Just eight rounds to go. Jones covered in blood, but still winning. Leading, I should say, by one fall in L. And two public warnings against Skull Murphy, his opponent, on the right there. Second away, round eight. Eight. Eight to go, and of course, they naturally play on the, on the, weakness, the, the weaknesses that the opponent has, especially when they've done the weakening. And he's going the same move that almost got him a submission at the end of the last round. That straight arm lever and a half Nelson with the right hand, the hand right round the, the chin on the other side of the neck. Very tricky move. Can Jones get out of it again? He's screaming at the ref to, to ask him about the submission there, but Jones does not want to submit at all here. 
the way Murphy's behaving, he shouldn't submit. But to encourage him. Nice throw. Now let's, I hope we can see some, oh, good drop kick. Murphy clean out. Now where did that land? Obviously not in the point of the jaw, on the face, trying another headbutt, but landed badly on a complete miss there, Marty Jones. It's not his usual style at all, this. Marty Jones most of the time quite subdued here. And a pile driver to Murphy on the cards here. him back but his balance beautifully now he can go with the power drive. there he goes all the way down and Jones tired out following that he'll start to take a breather but he could be counted out for a fee no eight tries a punch from there and he saw it the referee spotted that all right and that is disqualification back to the dressing room Murphy disqualified in round eight Jones the winner in the eighth round in just two minutes, 22 seconds. Don Carley. Now, the referee's decision, Scott Murphy disqualified. Wait. Murphy, Murphy, you tell that partner of yours, Finley, that me and my partner are going to take the penalty on. I'm out for the pair of you. Wherever you are, I'll be good for you. You name your place, I'll be there. You name your place, I'll be there. It's Fit Finley, Murphy's partner, tag partner, also wanted to go at Jones' title. So Jones is saying, any time, in fact, I'll take the pair of you. So a win there for... The winner, and still, the champion, heavy middleweight champion, the blue corner, Marty Jones! A bouquet of flowers to Marty Jones, and of course, his own belt placed back round his waist, where it rightfully belongs after an... An effort like that from his opponent the other day. You name the place and I'll be there and tell your partner Finlay, any pair of you, name your place and I will be there. Anywhere, I'll be there. Well, he should have made that fairly definite by now. There's the belt back, the world mid-heavyweight title and belt back with the champion Marty Jones of Oda. As he leaves the ring, the way 